Hi, I'm Indanam, and currently my favorite synth is Operator. Today I'm gonna to talk about why this pretty plain Ableton Live synth has a lot more than meets the eye. Don't sleep on this amazing synthesizer. I'm warning you. Firstly, the FM engine. Now I personally find FM the most exciting and inspiring form of synthesis. After two years since I first understood the basics of frequency modulation, I still don't think I fully understand all the nuanced techniques of it, which is good. I always feel like there's a new combination of parameters to experiment with if I'm feeling adventurous with my sound design. If you've had a grasp on subtractive analog style synthesis for a while, I highly recommend diving into FM. You can make 50 times more of a variety of sounds and the basic principles aren't as hard as you might think to learn. And trust me, FM isn't just good for 80 sounds. You can make almost any synth sound you can think of with it, as well as many quite realistic sounds with enough experimentation. The other day, I even discovered online that you can make pulse width with it. Operator has only four oscillators, but don't let that fool you. You have several wave shapes to choose from, various forms of sine, triangle, square, saw, and noise. You can also draw in harmonics manually and create a unique wave shape. This means you don't necessarily need to stack oscillators to add harmonics like you would in a DX7 or Volker FM, for example. And if you really want to, you can just turn the LFO into an extra modulator quite quickly. The oscillator controls are laid out super efficiently. All oscillators pitch and volume controls are always accessible for quick tonal balancing. On each oscillator page, the envelope is front and center, and each point can be dragged around smoothly. Finally, the more nuanced controls that you don't usually change on the fly are nicely sorted underneath. Once you start playing around with some of these controls, you'll come to recognize the phenomenal amount of expressiveness that you can squeeze out of this synth. It's awesome. Over to the right side of the synth, we have the LFO, filter, and auxiliary envelope. All of these have almost identical envelope controls to the oscillators, so they don't always have to feel static. The LFO and AUX envelope are mapped to pitch by default, but you can change them to target other parameters. You can even loop the AUX envelope to basically turn it into an LFO. The filter has plenty of options for sculpting and adding character to your sound, with changeable filter type, circuit type, as well as a wave shaper for added grit. My main complaint with Operator, like most Ableton devices, is that it's a bit small being confined to the bar at the bottom of the screen. It's not as colourful as most third-party virtual synths, but it looks clean, and I assume its simplicity just helps keep the CPU down. I've barely scratched the surface with what you can do with Operator. If you have Ableton and have been avoiding it, go try it out. For me, it's the perfect synth. There's endless possibilities unique methods of modulation, and the rewarding challenge of it all. While wavetable synths seem to be a modern standard for a workhorse virtual instrument, there's something about Operator's FM engine and unique choice of features that keep it exciting for me. 